That means we're in Herndon. That means I got Laura. Hello, everybody. I mean, does Herndon Social Dancers West Coast Swing class and dance in the other room? We are recording what we're going to show them in a minute. But thank you for being here and helping me record. Our next dance, this is the second dance right now of July. Our next dance will be in August, August 14th. So it's a bit of a break. But we'll be back August 14th for our first dance of the month of August. The year is flying. What? Laura and I talked. It's a move called Reach and Extend. I'll explain why you see the move. Uh, first, one, two, two, show to you. Yeah, sure. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Triple step, and then we go into the tuck turn and give her. Uh, okay? This is really pretty. It does take, it's a very different type of lead for the first part of it. Okay, so let's go front, so let's actually say this way. So we'll do sugar first, one, two, three, and four. It starts as a whip. So my left hand, Laura's right hand. You're gonna turn on one, two. So that's normal. But you're not gonna take your right hand, gentlemen, and put it underneath your left hand, her arm. You don't wanna do that yet. So you're gonna go one, two. And I'm taking my normal four. She's pivoting and turning and landing on her left foot like a normal two. But something changed before that. So you're actually gonna go one, and as two comes, taking your right hand, gentlemen, you're gonna put it not above her elbow, but right above where her forearm and her wrist are, forearm and elbow, right in that joint, right there, okay? You don't wanna go low with your wrist, too high, you want a nice sweet spot, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, three. So one, two, three. Now, I'm stopping her, I'm coming forward on my left, so I'm extending myself, with my right hand and my left leg to come for three. I'm actually stopping her from doing any more traveling or turning. And she's actually just going back on her left, my right foot. So we're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. You're then gonna pull her towards you. You're gonna let go of her right hand, make her triple, triple. So this is three, come forward, four, five, and six. Then you pick her up underneath her left arm for a triple then from there. So look at it from this direction because generally you're crossing over the slot at the end of those triples, okay? For five and six. So one, two, three, four. She turns and I come in front and get back onto the track because you want to be in close position when it ends. So one, two, three is a good connection. One, two, connect, reach and extend. Then when she's coming forward and turning, just get that hand out of the way. And as she's tripling, go underneath, and then pick up her in close position. That's really all it was, but that really is not an easy move for a follower if she's not expecting this. So one more time, so one, two, three, and four. It's called reach, extend. One, two, three, four, triple step, triple step. And then we need a rock to a tuck. And really, we didn't really focus much on the tuck turn with anything Except the basic ending. So one, two, three, four. This is it again. One, two, three, four. Triple step. Close position. And then we did a rock. Or whatever you really chose. That's the style to it. The one little difference for a follower's footwork in the first part is instead of going three and four, it's just three, four. You may want to feel like a coaster is coming, but if leaders, that hand has to stop that connection. Make her start tripling in. Thank you. Okay. That was it. Thank you so much again for being here. Again, August 14th will be our first dance of the month of August. Until then, have a great two, three weeks off. Yeah, summer!